So we were driving up I-65 toward West Virginia, and we came across a town in Kentucky that is really considered to be the gem of the South, at least in my opinion. Our first stop here was at Dinosaur World, which is a hubbub of activity. In fact, we couldn't even get in because it's booked all day. This place is open 8.30 to dusk. It's a good place to bring a date. They even serve a tasty pterodactyl burger. So sad that there are so few dinosaurs left, and they're using them to feed tourists. Let's go see what else this little town has to offer. Oh, hi there. As you can clearly see, we're at the Oaks Motel here in Bumble, Kentucky. Spacious accommodations for the holiday traveler. The only downside to this place is that every once in a while, an anvil falls on your head. It's a great place for kids to come and get killed. And if you happen to be celebrating some kind of a special occasion, maybe a honeymoon, or you've just put your truck onto a brand new set of cinder blocks, the Oaks does offer the luxurious accommodations of the Tigger Suite. A lot of bouncing going on in there. Brothers and sisters, cousins and cousins. That's all, folks. The Mammoth Cave Wax Museum. They've got earwax samples from over 350 dead presidents. That's what they told me inside. The Double Play Grill and Sports here appears to be hiring. Uh, looks like they've got a lot of business to attend to. We're going to go check out the job opportunities here in uh, Crap Fort, Kentucky. Hey, watch it! The folks here in Kentucky do want you to remember that Jesus does love you but he also might stab you. And our last stop here on the tour of Coondog Hoot Nanny, Kentucky, the chairlift where the skiing is killer. Take that park city. There's really no area. It's like if you veer a foot to the left, you become the Sonny Bono of the South. So we're driving down I-65 toward West Virginia. Really just the gem of the South, I think. We've sound, one more time. So we're driving down I-65, what? You got something to say? So we were driving up I-65. Mammoth Cave Wax Museum. They've got over 350 samples of earwax from Indians and former presidents and rednecks of all shapes, sizes, colors, and sizes. One more time. The Mammoth Cave Wax Factory. <laughs> One more time. 